Let me ask you something. I have two glasses of water here. What would happen if I dropped these two pieces of potato into these glasses of water? Hmm. One sinks and the other one floats. Why is that? Well, this glass of water is pure water and this is sugar water. And it all has to do with density. Density is the measurement of how solid something is. Or in more geeky terms, the density of a material is equal to its mass divided by its volume. Two objects made of the same material have the same density, even though they may have different masses and different volumes. That's because the ratio of the mass to the volume is the same for both objects. Confused yet? The density of a material depends on its temperature. The general relationship is that density decreases with increasing temperature. This is called thermal expansion. This is true for most compounds. As the temperature of the liquid increases, the density decreases as the molecules spread out from each other. And as the temperature decreases, the density increases as the molecules become more closely packed. But this pattern does not hold true for ice, as the exact opposite occurs. Which is more dense, water or ice? Well, let's take our glass with the potato and um, let's put some ice in it. Well, as I'm sure you knew, the ice floats. Even though the mass remains constant, the space or volume that it takes up also changes with temperature. As temperature goes up, so does the vibration of the material molecules, leading to a drop in density. All substances, including water, become less dense when they are heated and more dense when they are cooled. So if water is cooled, it becomes more dense and forms ice. So today we're going to do an experiment called the density tower. First, pour the water into the glass. Add a couple of drops of food coloring and mix. Next, add the oil. What do you see? Which layer is on top? Tightly cover the glass with plastic wrap. While holding the glass over the sink, in case you spill it, shake the glass so that the two liquids are truly mixed. Set the glass down and watch what happens. Do oil and water mix. Take the 12 ounce glass. Be careful not to get the honey on the side of the glass. Pour the honey into the middle of the glass. Pour enough honey in to fill the glass about one-sixth of the way up. After you have added the honey, tip the glass slightly and pour an equal amount of dishwashing liquid slowly down the side of the glass. Does the dishwashing liquid flow on top of the honey or sink to the bottom? Next, mix a few drops of food coloring with water in one of the mixing cups. Color the rubbing alcohol a different color in another mixing cup. Be careful to add the next liquids very slowly. They are less viscous which means not as thick, and mix more easily than the previous liquids. We don't want them to mix. Tip the glass slightly and pouring slowly down the side of the glass, add the first color water, then the vegetable oil, and finally the color rubbing alcohol. See you next time.